Good day. Well, well, down right here. I feel like uh, we've every fight camp when, when one of your teammates fights, they bring up your name all the time. And in terms of someone that helps them in camp, helps them give them looks, especially Israel on the countdown of his last fight against Alex, you seem to be one of his main training partners. So now, what's it like peaking with all of these guys too, and six six of your teammates all fighting on the same card? Uh, it's it's great. Um, like we feed off each other's energy, you know. Um, like some some days you just don't feel great, and yeah, you just feel a bit down. But you've got five more other people, who, you know, supporting you and just encouraging you. So yeah, uh, it really it, like that uh, exciting ap atmosphere just got amplified like six times. And they also always say, like, you're better than your record. Like, yeah, you might have lost to Earl, but you're still one of the best strikers in this division. So I guess what, what, what do you want to showcase there on Sunday that maybe you weren't able to showcase in your previous two fights? Oh, that's it. Um, I want to showcase my striking uh, just to show them I can stand with a lot of these guys. But uh, also um, I've been working on my grappling and uh, my wrestling, so that's another thing I would like to showcase. Was was the wrestling grappling specifically for this fight, or did you take away something from your previous fights that said like, "Hey, I really need to focus on this"? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I learned from my mistakes, you know, um, and uh, yeah, I knew exactly what I needed to do. Uh, like uh, for instance, uh, me uh, going to help uh, Volk's camp. To be honest, I, I feel like he was the one helping me because I went there and I was just doing what I do. I just did me. Um, but, yeah, I was picking his brain, and, uh, I mean, like, after watching what he did uh, against Makachev, I was just like, yeah, definitely that could help me a lot. So, yeah, it was it was good. When they came to you with a name like Charlie, what did you make of – did you watch any of his fights, and what did you make of his skill set? Um, to be honest, it was uh, one of those things, uh, like, uh, I wanted to focus more on myself, Um I, I know he's a, he's a great opponent. I mean, he's in the UFC for for a good reason, so I didn't take that lightly. But I focus more on what I can do. You know, um, the last couple of fights I was too f like too fixated on my opponents, like trying to see what they do and all those things. I just went back to my old ways, you know, trust my coaches because they, they see better than I do, and I just focus on myself. When you say that you were focusing on maybe what your opponents were doing rather than yourself, like, especially in your last day with Orion, were you waiting for him to do stuff that maybe you were, and then it, when it didn't happen, it, you just kind of threw off your game? That's it, yeah. Um, just watching his previous fights and um, just the way he fought, I thought maybe he was going to do the same thing, but he yeah, had it didn't work out that way. And, of course, I did a, quite a few mistakes, you know. Uh, I basically zigged when I should have zagged. So, yeah, uh, it, it was a good learning experience. But, yeah, it, it was time for me to focus m more on myself. And the last one for me, obviously, your two other UFC fights were in Texas. How good does it feel to be, you know, not having to travel 20 miles across the world? Man, this is, it's great. It's great. Um, <laughs> just Just across, basically across the road, you know. Oh, so, yeah, having, being close to home, get, got friends, family, and, yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, cheers. Mike, over here, just to your left. Yeah. Um, you mentioned um, to Jose about training with Volk and how much you learned during that time, tra you know, in that training camp. What specifically was it that you learned so much from Volk? I was a lot of it was uh, the wrestling and uh, the grappling aspect of things. Um, Volk is a great all is great all around. Um, so yeah, uh, just little. This is the thing in in this fighting in this fighting game. Like, you, I I don't need to be like the top wrestler. You know, I don't need to be a black belt in jujitsu. I just need to be efficient. So just working on those kind of things. Because at the end of the day, we start on our feet, right? And yeah, whatever plan you've got for wrestling or grappling, I, I'm not dismissing it or anything, but I'm just saying once you get punched in the face, you're like, oh, damn. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, just, just uh, working on those real, real fundamental stuff and yeah, just 
getting along, just getting a better understanding. Yeah. Um, just one more from me. Yeah. Um, your teammate, uh, Israel Adesanya, um, obviously fighting back in April and, and you know picking up that massive win against Alex Pereira. I'm just wondering um, if if that any, added any extra motivation to you seeing that you know you know coming off a loss and, and picking up the win in such emphatic fashion. If that gave you any extra motivation leading to this fight? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, to be honest, like what is it called? Um, in this journey, like it's either you're winning or you're learning. This is just the way I see it. Okay, so yeah, the losses I had, I'm like, okay. Oh, sorry. No, that's just is. Um, you learn. Uh, I learned that. Um, like each fight, like there was always something I was learning off it. So I'm like, okay, cool. This is what I did wrong. This is what I need to fix. So, and that, I mean, that's the same thing with Is. He, you saw the way he fought. Alex, the first, um, the first time and uh, the last time, it's completely different. So it's just being able to understand, okay, I need to adjust th- this, that, and, yeah, improve yourself and come back a better fighter. Yeah. Mike, they say that pressure, you know, they say that diamonds are formed under pressure. Yeah. Do you think that the pressure of, you know, fighting in Sydney in front of a huge, you know, home crowd, you know, on such a large card, do you think that that's going to bring the best out of you this weekend? Hey, you're already calling me Diamond, so I don't think you need any... The Diamond's already been made, okay? It's just my time to shine now, so yeah. Just down the front here. Um, uh, you were talking about efficiency with your with your fight. Um, how, how has that come into your game plan uh, coming Sunday? Um, like um, being more comfortable, okay? Uh, I mean... Before, it used to be one of those things like, oh, man, what's going to happen when they take me down? You know, you start overthinking those kind of things. Uh, what's going to happen when I'm on the ground, et cetera, et cetera. When you start working on those small fundamentals, you start getting more confidence. And, yeah, like I, this camp, I've been feeling very confident, you know. Um, I think uh, the, one of the times I've, I tested it out is when I was uh, training with Volk. Uh, I mean, like, at the beginning of uh, the camp, you know, uh, all he had to do was take me down. And then I'm like, crap, I'm in trouble. But at the end of the camp, I was, I was, um, I could stand, like, I, I could, like, grapple with him and gave me more confidence. And, yeah, going back home, testing it out with uh, my teammates, you know, you just realize, okay, I, I, you can see the evolution. So, yeah, it gave me more confidence. And how do you how do you predict your fight turning out? <sighs> to be honest, I'm just living in the now. I I'm, I just want to take each round as it comes, and yeah, whatever comes my way, uh, I'm happy. You know, because uh, at the end of the day, I'm doing what I love. You know, uh, not many people get to do that, and I feel very blessed. So yeah, I'm taking each each round as it comes. And who are you backing in the main event? If you all <laughs> might know. Uh, let me think. Um, it, yeah, that's a no-brainer. That's my boy. He's got this. Thank you. Cheers. Bloods, you haven't fought in a little over a year now. Was that a decision by, made by you or by Eugene or kind of a collective thing? What was behind the, the long layoff? To be honest, I'm, I'm not very sure. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 man, I, I love to fight. Okay, I've been... I, I, I tried to get on the Perth card um, and... Yeah, that didn't work out. Tried to get on the one uh, Dan was on. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I was just more focused on, uh, up, what is it called, becoming a better fighter. Um, yeah, sometimes you just don't get what you want. So if it's something you've got no control over, just yeah, forget about it. Just focus on the things you've got control over, and that's what I did. Sweet. Cheers, guys.